It's that time of year for ghosts, goblins, and trick-or-treating, and who doesn't love a good haunted house? Well, I walked through last night. I tried my best not to shriek like a little girl. Welcome to the mansion of H.H. H. Holmes. I hope you've had a chance to review the rules. You are being watched. Do not touch anyone in the house. No one will touch you. And if you do, our dog Fluffy here will eat you. Down, that way. Enter. Enter. One step inside, and it's easy to figure out why this place is called Screams in the Park. <laughs> With its haunted elevator, and long, dark corridors, okay. it's, black. <laughs> it's enough to make any skeptic wonder what's lurking around the corner. Operational Manager Tim Felix says they try to latch onto people's fears and take advantage of them. We've lost a couple of people. We had one one uh, guest complain uh, that they peed themselves. He says it's really gratifying when they can get a good scream out of someone. Where are those who walk in with with fear in their hearts before they enter the place? Those are the people you love. Uh, other people walk in going, okay, it's a little bit of entertainment and it's a challenge to scare them. That's what we try and do. Greg, they've got about 90 actors. It takes about nine months to set the whole thing up.